it's Janiksa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be fun to do a little bit of a declutter. It is the end of the year and I have a lot of stuff that I'm just not using and I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to nail polish, um, nail polish, nail polish accessories, top coats and base coats, cuticle oils, all of that. I'm a bit of a hoarder for a lot of that. So I thought it would be fun to do a declutter. I'm going to be up front. I don't know how much I'm actually going to declutter. You know what? The, if this is going to be like cutthroat, it really should be because, you know, I only use a certain amount of you know, base coats and top coats and stuff like that. And so I really don't have any reason to keep all like 50 that I have. <laughs> I don't know how many I have exactly, but it's probably around that number. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it and we'll see what I get rid of. By the way, if you thought that I just put this hat on because I didn't want to comb my hair, you're right. All right, guys, this is the very first drawer in my nail polish uh, desk, and it is full of base coats and top coats, and there are some nail polish treatments, so I wanted to go ahead and go through everything and, you know, pick out things that I just don't use, which honestly is the majority of this because I mainly stick to the Sech V and the Orly Bonder base coat. So, you know, a lot of this stuff really does end up just sitting here, but uh, the collector in me can't help but keep them because it's like I wanna keep one of every single top coat and base coat from every single brand. So I'm gonna try to be cutthroat here and, um, you know, not be a hoarder basically. <laughs> Okay, so right off the bat, all of the Sech Vite stuff stays because like I said, that is my go-to number one top coat. So I'm not even gonna bother touching any of this because that's all Sech Vite. This one here is the Essence Base Coat. Oh, by the way, you're gonna hear my kids. They are out there playing with their dad and watching TV and playing with toys. And the one that you just heard right now, that's my son. He has autism and he doesn't quite understand when mommy says that she needs some quiet time to film. So he's just gonna be, you know, in the background making some noise. <laughs> but anyway, this Essence Extreme Last Base Coat is a really good one. If I, for some reason, don't want to use Orly, I would go to this one. And I highly recommend it. I actually have a backup. So I will be keeping these because they are like, I don't know, 2 to $3. So very, very affordable. And they're very good base coats. Um, next I have here from Nail Hoot, which is a indie brand. This one is their base coat. I have not tried this yet. Um, this one, uh, I think we're going to put it in a maybe pile. So I'm going to have a declutter, a keep, and a maybe pile. And then at the end, I'll visit my maybe pile again and decide what I'm going to keep or declutter. But for now, this nail hoot base coat will go ahead and go in the maybe pile. Then I have this OPI Nail Envy. I love this stuff. It's ridiculously expensive. This is like $15 or $16. But I do find that it works. And as you can see, there's a fill line right there, right above the O. So I do use it quite a bit um, whenever I feel like my nails need a little bit of extra love. So I'll be keeping this. Then I have the Believe Beauty Ultra Shine Top Coat. This one, I am keeping it because I want to use it for um, swatches. So when I'm doing swatches, I don't like to use my Sitch V because, you know, that's like my good top coat. So I don't want to waste it all. But I do find good shiny top coats like Believe Beauty. This is from Dollar General and it's only a dollar. So... I will keep this for my swatch photos. 
Next, I have the Orly Matte Top Coat. I have not tried this one out. I believe I got this in one of their Color Pass boxes, and I haven't tried it out yet. I do want to try it out before I decide to give it up. So I'll keep that, and the OPI Matte Top Coat is one that I actually really really like this is my go-to matte top coat so that's why i said i really want to try out the orly one and see if it's any better than opi if you've tried them both out let me know which one is your favorite because yeah that'll determine if i like this orly one then obviously i'm going to keep it but if not then i'm going to get rid of it and this opi will just continue to be my holy grail matte top coat then i have oh it's almost oops almost dropped it this Sally Hansen No More Stains Spray-On Base Coat. As you can see, I'm almost done with it. I use this one mainly for my toes. Whenever I do a pedicure, it just it's easier for me and it really does protect my toes really, really well from staining since I leave polish on my toes for like, I don't know, a month at a time since it lasts forever. So this is obviously a keep just so that I could finish it up. Next up, I have a couple of Orly um, top coats. This is the Won't Chip and the Poly Shield. They are pretty used up. This one is right about here, and this one is right at the W there. Honestly, I stopped using these because I simply found that Sitch Vite was so much better. It retains um, the gloss a lot better, and it also dries a lot more shiny so these orly ones to me just don't dry all that shiny and um yeah i think i'll get rid of them because there's really no point in keeping them if i'm not going to use them all right next up we have the orly nail defense and i actually did like this one it's a strengthening base coat i did like this but i started to notice that it started to smell a little weird. It was smelling like it was no good anymore. And I don't see a date, but I didn't, it says a 36 month shelf life. And I definitely didn't have this for even a year when it started to smell. So for that reason, I stopped using it. And for that reason, I'll go ahead and declutter or de-stash this one. I do have a tiny bottle of the Orly Nail Defense Strengthener because I want to see if the same thing happens with this one. I haven't used this one yet, um, and I purposely bought the tiny bottle. Here, I'll show you for comparison's sake. So, to me, it made more sense to buy the tiny bottle to test them out. This one is 11 milliliters, and this one is 18. Um, that way, if the same thing happens, you know, if it starts to get too stinky, then... I didn't waste the whole big bottle. So I'll keep that small bottle. I have the Olive and June Super Glossy Top Coat here. Um, I haven't tried this one yet, so I don't have an opinion on it yet. I will say I do like the bottle. It's really pretty, and that's probably what drew me to it in the first place. Um, I think I will keep this one because I do want to try it out to be able to give, you know, an, an, an opinion, a, a review on them. So I will keep that. Then I have this Q-Tex uh, na Stained Nail Corrector. Give this a shake. Um, this actually works really well. Uh, if your nails are stained yellow, it kind of... Um, stops them from looking so intensely yellow. So it does work. I've used it a few times and yeah, I'm gonna keep it because this is a good thing to have in your collection. Um, all right, this one is the Miranda base coat and it has garlic and lemon. Miranda is like a boutique brand. Um, they are on Instagram. They sent these over to me. They sent over the base coat and top coat. We'll find the top coat soon. I do want to keep this base coat because of the fact that it has garlic and lemon. Garlic and lemon help um, your nails. They help your nails a lot. They strengthen your nails. They help them when they are peeling and, you know, bad things are happening. Um, so I'm going to keep this Miranda base coat. 
Next up, we have Light Slacker's Nourishing Elixir. Guys, I held off on buying this one for so long because I just felt like it was, I don't know, kind of pointless. Um, but I saw it in a D-stash and it was cheap, so I bought it. And oh my goodness, have I fallen in love with the, with using this as a base coat. Even on days where I don't have time to paint my nails, I will put this on my nails. It dries really fast like a base coat and it leaves my nails looking more white instead of yellow, you know, stained yellow. So I was so surprised by this. This is really, really good. If you're looking for something to help with the staining on your nails, I highly recommend this one. So I'm obviously keeping it. Next up, we have another nail hoop product. This one is Talon Super Dry and Shine. So this is their top coat. Um, again, I think I'm going to go ahead and oh, I'll put this in my maybe pile along with their base coat. I'm not sure if I want to keep this. I haven't tried it yet. Again, Nail Hoot is an indie brand. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put this in my maybe pile. Next up, we have a No Time to Waste Top Coat from 90 Lacquer by Just Face 90 here on YouTube. This top coat was actually my favorite before I started to use Sitch V. Um, but then I noticed, I don't know if you can tell, but let me see. It looks a little bit cloudy. It's like after a certain amount of time, it gets cloudy in the bottle. And I was kind of okay with that because these are were really cheap, but... Um, Jess is currently not selling per product, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. I haven't used it ever since I found the Sitch Feet. Next, I have this Nail Tech Strengthener. I have not tried this yet. Um, the Sitch V brand was really, really nice, and they sent this over to me along with this 5-in-1 nail treatment. Um, I'm not sure if they are the same brand. I'm kind of assuming they are um, Nail Tech and Sitch V simply because she sent me over a lot of things in, you know, one shipment. Uh, honestly, I don't see myself using these, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter them. They, they look like they're really good. I've heard great things about Nail Tech, but... I just, I, I don't really find myself using stuff like this, so no point in keeping it. I gotta keep telling myself that. No point in keeping it, Johnny, because if you're not going to use it. <laughs> Alright, so then I have from Static Nails, I have their top coat and their primer. They call it a primer, it's a base coat. Uh, again, the collector in me just wants to keep everything because I want to keep one of everything. Um... Mm. Uh, I guess I will declutter them because I don't see myself using them. Static Nails was very kind and sent these over to me. And, you know, I don't want to seem ungrateful here at all. I appreciate it when a brand sends over top coat and base coat because a lot of times I do end up using them for when I'm swatching, you know. And so that saves me from having to purchase a bunch of top coats and base coats. So I really do appreciate it, but... You know, after a while, it starts to become too much. And I mean, you guys see this drawer, there's just so much stuff. And I don't want to um, overflow. You know, I want all my top coats and base coats to stay in this drawer. So I'm going to reluctantly get rid of these. <laughs> um, oh, Minx Lacquer. They are also an indie brand very beautiful polishes she sent over this quick dry top coat and i believe yep it's scented mango citrus i haven't tried this one yet and it's so tiny so cute the owner is so so kind i do want to keep this because i've got to try out that mango citrus scent these are all of my orly bonder base coats i have one two three four five bottles so obviously those are staying orly bonder is my absolute holy grail base coat it's super sticky and it's just perfect i have orly tough cookie which is a strengthening base coat 
because I love the Orly Bonder, I do usually love Orly base coats in general. So I want to keep this one to give it a try. I haven't tried it yet, so I do want to keep that. I also have another base coat, strengthening base coat, Calcium Shield here by Orly. Again, I do want to keep this, have not tried it yet. I got these two at uh, TJ Maxx once because they appear there every so often. You could definitely find these for about 6 to $7 at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I'm keeping those. And then I got the Believe Beauty Ultra Shine Base Coat. Um, again, this goes with that top coat that we talked about earlier. It is just $1. So I will keep this for swatching purposes. Next, I have the Blush Lacquers Mat Material Girl Matte Top Coat. I haven't had the chance to try this one yet. I don't really do matte nails all that often. That's why I only have three matte top coats but i'm saying only <laughs> normal person only has one not three um but yeah i want to give it a try before i decide to keep or let it go so i'm going to keep it for now then i have this opi infinite shine brightening primer so it's the base coat i haven't tried this one before i'm just curious to try it it comes in this frosted bottle so i just want to see if it's any good um so yeah, I'm going to keep that. I have these Nailtopia base coats. As you can see, this pink one, I'm more than halfway done with it. And I have a backup because I really, really like it. Um, this is the Raspberry Nail Nourishment. They are great base coats. They smell really good. And I feel like they really do help the nail. So I'll be keeping these. This one is the Spinach Nail Strengthener. And I'm almost to the Nailtopia logo in this one. This one is the Blueberry Nail Growth. This one smells really good. Love how they smell. And the one that I've probably used the least is the Orange Nail Hardener. Simply because I don't like nail hardeners. Your nails should not be, you know, really, really hard. Your nails should be flexible because then they don't break as easily. If you have really hard nails, your nails will tend to break a lot easier. So I'm actually going to go ahead and declutter this because I just really don't like nail hardeners. All right, next I have the Zoya Naked Manicure Glossy Seal. These are very, very shiny. They're, I have tried them a few times. I use them for swatching a lot since they aren't, um, you know, like quick dry. I use them also when I do these nail wraps because I'm not exactly sure why, but you're not supposed to use quick dry top coat for these nail wraps. I think it's because it shrinks them. So I do use this one for nail wraps and it works really well. So I'll be keeping that. Um, then I have from... Jessie Monroe, another indie slash boutique brand from Instagram. This is their base coat. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to declutter this one. I, I oh, It pains me because I literally just got these from the owner. She's so sweet. Um, but I need to be realistic of what I'm going to actually use. So I'm going to declutter these. Next, I have the Cuccio Base Coat, and I got this uh, on um, Kelly Marissa's recommendation. She always talks about either Orly Bonder or Cuccio Base. I haven't tried it yet, but I do want to give it a shot, so this one's staying. Next, I have the Lights Lacquer So Clingy Base Coat and the So Over It um, Top Coat. They're really kind and sent these to me a couple of months back. I do really love Lights Lacquer, so I'm going to be keeping these. Look, we already made some room for some stuff. Yay! <laughs> and here is that Miranda top coat I was talking about. It is a matte finish. Okay, so now that I found this matte, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one since I do have the Orly um, the OPI and the blush lacquer matte. I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. All right, what else do I have? Oh, 
Here is the Miranda top coat. This one says gel finish. I really don't like when nail polishes put gel on something because it just confuses people who don't know, you know, it just, it's a marketing thing. I get it. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one too. I'll declutter it and yeah, I haven't tried it so I don't have any opinions on it, but I'll go ahead and declutter. Next up, I have the Jessie Monroe matte top coat. Ooh, I was wrong about only having three top coats. Here's another one. Um, Yeah, I'll go ahead and declutter this one also. Ugh, you guys, this is so hard. I want to keep everything. I just, I, I don't know. I just want to keep it all. But I know there's no point if I'm not going to use it. Ugh. <laughs> All right, then I have this Naked Manicure Perfector from Zoya, and this does help with staining also. Definitely going to keep this. I really like it. I do have another one. It's the uh, Nude Perfector. These are really good for me. I, I like Zoya stuff, so I'll definitely be keeping these. And they can go over here. Next, I have this Formula X from Sephora. This is just a nail cleanser to, you know, use on your nails right before you're going to paint your nails. I have not used it. As you can see, it still has the um, packaging on it. I guess I don't need this. All right, I'll get rid of this one too. Next, I have from Nail Hoot the Swatch peel so i use this whenever i am swatching gel polishes so i put this on and then i'll go ahead and put on the base coat and then the color and the top coat and this allows me to just pop it off really easily um which really helps when i'm swatching so i'm going to keep that of course i have a nail tech ridge filler I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one because I do have the Sech V Ridge Filler, Ridge Filling Base Coat, and I would rather keep this, so I will pass this one on. Next, I have this Random Color Club Clear. I used to use these a lot for swatching. As you can see, its fill line is about right there. It's right there. So I'll go ahead and get rid of this one. Ooh, here we have some peel off base coat. This is Peel Ease from IMK Nails. This is an indie brand and this bottle of peel off base coat is only $5. So I highly, highly recommend it. It works just as good as the UNT peel off base coat. Five bucks and you're supporting a small business. Go check them out on Instagram, IMK Nails. The owner is super sweet too. So keep that for sure. We'll get back to that UNT. Ooh, this guy, Sally Hansen, big shiny top coat. Guys, this was awful for me. Just awful. Like it would not dry. I, I nope, this has to go. <laughs> Next, I have this Expressy, uh, always transparent shade. I do use this sometimes for swatching, so I'll keep that. Then I have this London Town Instant Smudge Fix. You know, I don't know if this actually works. I don't feel like it does. I have used it one time and I feel like it didn't really do anything. Um, yeah. Ooh, this one's a tough one because these London Towns are so expensive. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of it because if I do ever smudge a nail, I usually just take off the polish and paint it all over again or something I don't yeah I don't really see this working too well so I'll get rid of that I have this really old wet and wild hard as ice thing I think I got this from my sister a while back so I'm just gonna get rid of this this is really really old <laughs> I have this UNT Sun Envy top coat. Um, they so kindly sent this over along with some polishes a while back. Um, I don't really reach for this one. I'm going to go ahead and declutter. Oops, I moved the camera. I have this nail strengthener from Nail Tech. I haven't gotten the chance to use this one yet, but the bottle looks just like Cuccio bottles. 
I originally thought this was Cuccio, but it's not. Um, I do want to keep it. I want to give it a try. Um, Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. I, I don't want this. I don't use clear polish, really, so... And then Nail Aid Platinum High Gloss Top Coat. Guys, this was bad, too. This did not dry. It did not want to dry. They're so cheap, and I was excited because I thought I had found a really good, cheap top coat, but no. I painted my nails, and then like four or five hours later, I went to bed, and I woke up with sheet marks all over. And after four or five hours, it should have been, you know, dry, and it wasn't. So I'm going to get rid of that. Oh, this is nail polish thinner. It's always good to have, so I'm going to keep that. And then we have the UNT um, peel-off base. I keep this, even though I don't use it all that much, but these guys are like $14, $15 on Amazon, so pretty pricey. I'm going to keep those. I have this Sinful Colors, what is this? Rubber Top Coat. Oh, this went with the... Um, sneaker textured polishes that came out summer last year. Um, mm, I think I'll keep them simply just for those polishes. I think I'll keep it. Yeah, for now. It stays for now. Oh, and we have some Sitch Restore. Whoever uses Sitch Vite knows that you need this because it gets so gloopy and stringy so quick. So this is a must have. All right, I had to pull out my tray of stuff because it was, oh, my son's having a field day out there because I needed to get to this stuff in the back. I have two more of the Naked Manicure Ultra Glossy Seals from Zoya. I do get PR from Zoya and sometimes they send over these extra goodies. So I, like I said before, I like these. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep them. Next, this is just a random one from the owner of Dimension Nails. Uh, she sent this over so that I could swatch her, uh, what is it called, gel polishes. So it serves the same purpose as this one. Just an easy way to peel off a gel manicure. This one is the Julie G Jet Set Quick Dry Top Coat. I did use this for swatching before. I haven't touched it in a really long time. I got it at Dollar Tree for a buck back when things were still a dollar. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Next up we have the Jessie Monroe Top Coat. Um, hmm, did I keep many top coats for swatching? Uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one for swatching. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep it. Next, we have the Essie um, top coat for the Gel Couture line. This one, guys, actually smells good. Like, it doesn't have that yucky top coat smell. Um, I like this one. I haven't used it in a while. I need to pull it back out. But, yeah, I'm going to keep this one. Next, I have the Mojo X Cosmetics Basic uh i don't know what that is with marula oil this is another indie slash boutique brand the owner is so sweet um she sent me the base coat and the top coat and um i think i'm gonna keep these i'm gonna keep these again for swatching purposes and here i have glisten and glows glitter grabber i haven't tried this yet i keep forgetting that i have this but i want to try it to see if it's any good with the glitter polishes so i'll be keeping that then i have this yappa magic top extended wear top coat they sent me this in a pr package last year very grateful i have used it quite a bit it isn't my favorite so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it and then in this same drawer, I have the Essence Express Dry Drops. These actually work really, really well, and they're very cheap. I like them, and they moisturize the cuticles, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Then I have a second bottle of the UNT. Ooh, what is that? That's weird. Um, Peelable Base Coat. I believe this came in a PR package from them also, so again, I'm going to keep that. These are just a bunch of nail files from the Polish and Beauty Expo from Nashville in 2020. Um, 
let me know if anybody is going to the 2022. I'm sorry, not 2020. It was 2021. Duh, it was this past July. <laughs> um, the 2022 one is being held in Tinley Park in Illinois. So I will be there and maybe I will see you there too. <laughs> so these are a bunch of nail files and I have the Holo Taco Protective Peel, which I totally forgot I had. So I need to put this over here so that I could remember to use that. I have these oh, nail art pens from, what's the brand? Sally Hansen. I'm curious about these. I bought these a while ago. I still haven't tried them. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a try at least. They still have the plastic wrapping on them. And then I will decide if I'm going to, you know, get rid of them or not. This is the OPI Bond-Aid that I got from... Um, TJ Maxx. <laughs> we keep seeing it popping up there. So I grabbed one just to see if it was any good. I recently grabbed this, so I haven't tried it yet. And the rest of the stuff in here is just some buffing blocks and stuff that I do want to keep. So I'm going to just go ahead and put everything back in my drawer. All right, this is still a lot of stuff. Let's go back to our maybe pile, which was this um, top coat and base coat from Nail Hoot. Um, oh, it's so hard, guys. It's really hard. I don't want to get rid of anything. <laughs> um, mm, I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep them. Yeah. Yeah, for now, they're staying. <laughs> I've gotten rid of quite a bit. So for now, they're staying. Let me put all of these back. And then I think we can go ahead and look at my cuticle oils because I'm also hoarding those. So we need to go through them and take some things out. Okay, this is my cuticle drawer and cuticle oil drawer, not cuticle drawer. What a dork. <laughs> um, and I do have some balms and lotions and stuff here. So yeah, let's go through this drawer. There's also a lot of random stuff like this. Um, Nail polish, not nail polish. Oh yeah, I'm all over the place today. This is cuticle remover from Nail Hoot. I definitely want to keep that. Love this jelly type of cuticle remover. Next, I have some nail polish thinner from Beauty Secret, Sally Beauty. I mean, you can't go wrong with this stuff. Next is my liquid latex. I got this at Walmart. It's, it's decent. It does the job keeping that and I have a backup of nourishing elixir don't judge me too much okay I love this stuff <laughs> then I have this cuticle oil from rain oh I had to bring the light over a little bit I, I don't know how to pronounce that but there it is I got this NPR. It's warm apple cider. You guys, this smells exactly like apple cider. It's really good. It has some awesome ingredients. Um, hmm. <sighs> okay, I'm sad to get rid of it, but I am going to get rid of it mainly because I suffer from migraines very often and they are usually fragrance induced. So this smells pretty strong and I just feel like if I use it on the wrong day, it'll trigger a migraine. So I'm going to have to let it go even though it smells amazing. Next, I have some oily repair powder in here for broken nails. This stuff works really, really well. Definitely keeping it. And I have olive and june dry drops. Again, this stuff works really well, so I'm going to keep that. I have the Mojo X Cosmetics um, cuticle oil with Madagascar scent. This has a scent, but it's a very light scent, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. I do use it quite often. I'm s sorry, guys. My son is just having a blast over there in the background playing. He just gets really excited about playing with his dad and stuff, so, you know, he just... Screaming like that is the way that he expresses his excitement. <laughs> Next up, we have the Pacifica Nourish Nail and Cuticle Oil. I do like this one too. I've used it quite a bit. It's like halfway. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this so that I can finish it. All right, here we have the Holler and Glow Coco Cutie Cuticle Oil from Target. You know, I haven't even used this. I actually really don't like 
cuticle oils with the dropper. I prefer a brush, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Next, I have these from Nailtopia. These are cuticle conditioners. Um, they're in orange, raspberry, uh, blueberry, and spinach. I don't use these as much as I do the um, base coats. Um, these are going to go in the maybe pile because I'm not sure if I even want to keep these. These are these two are basically like lotions and these the blue and the green are kind of like a like a gel feeling so i'm going to put these in the maybe pile all right this is the sitch condition um cuticle oil love 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 the scent of this one it's carotene infused and i'm almost halfway through it so i'm definitely going to keep that i'm sorry if i'm out of frame you guys i keep holding things too high too high up the Essie Apricot Cuticle Oil. This one is so weird to me. I have two of them and I've only used one of them once. Uh, I almost feel like this stains your nails or cuticle is just because of the color. Um, I don't need two, so I'm gonna get rid of one of them. Next is this Mini Lux Nourishing Oil. This is pretty cool, it's a roller ball, but I was actually having trouble getting the oil out of this when I was trying to use it once, so because of that, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Next, we have some Nail Tech Renew Cuticle Oil. Again, it comes in a dropper, not my favorite. Um, hmm, I haven't tried this one at all. I think I would like to before I decide what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna keep it. Then I have the Sally Hansen Good Kind Pure. This one is called Island Coconuts. There you go. This is my favorite mainstream cuticle oil. It smells like conditioner. It's delicious. Um, this is my second bottle, so I'm definitely going to keep it. Whoops. Then I have this Jason Tea Tree Nail Saver. Um, I don't like this one, the brush in it is like really rough it's really hard so it doesn't feel good when you're running it across your cuticles and i also don't like the smell of this it's really strong so i'm going to go ahead and declutter next i have the ella and mila um nail care cuticle oil almond cuticle oil i really really love almond cuticle oils those aren't those those are my favorite scent so i haven't tried this one yet i do want to give it a try simply because it is my favorite scent so i'm going to keep this next i have a formula x for sephora cuticle oil i love the way this one smells it smells delicious this is the second one i've gone through i'm you know using i finished a whole one and i'm Mm, still got a decent amount in this one left, so I'm going to keep that. This is the Sally Hansen Vitamin E Nail and Cuticle Oil. This was the cuticle oil that I first started using, um, you know, the one that first got me into cuticle oil. It's a fine cuticle oil, doesn't, I mean, there's nothing fantastic about it. There's really no scent to it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. This is the Believe Beauty Rescue Cuticle Oil, and it is lemon scented. This one is from Dollar General. This was only a dollar. I do like the scent of it, and I'm about halfway through, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it so I can finish it. This is the Sally Hansen Color Therapy Cuticle Oil. This actually smells old. Like, I don't think it is. I think it's just the smell of it. I don't like this. I'm going to get rid of it. This is the Static Nails uh, Rapid Repair Nail and Cuticle Oil. I haven't tried this one yet. I would like to give it a chance, so I'm going to keep that. This is the CND Solar Oil. Wait a minute. I think this one is the one that has a bad smell. Let me see. Oh, no. There we go. Let's see. Oh, no. This one's the one that smells delicious. Oh, that smells so good. I need to use this more. Keeping... I am a sucker for a good scented oil. 
this Argan Oil Drops um, from Orly. I got this in a color pass also. Love it, keeping it. I have a second bottle of the Sitch Condition. So I'm gonna keep that over there, move it over there with his buddy. <laughs> I have another Orly Argan Cuticle Oil. Again, love this one. Use it often. Keeping. And I have an NCLA So Rich Vitamin E Infused Cuticle Oil. Again, it's the dropper. Not really interested in this one. I'm going to go ahead and declutter. And this last one. Oh my goodness. I don't know how to say that brand. But this smells so delicious it is the teeny tiniest little sample that i got at target once and i haven't been able to get rid of it and i don't even use it anymore because i just want to smell it sometimes and i'm looking for something that smells just like it or even just one of these in a bigger bottle and i can't seem to find it so if you know where to find it please let me know <laughs> so just keeping that simply because i like to smell it from time to time as weird as that may sound i have another oily cuticle oil um this one is a bit of a pain in the butt in my drawer. It's too tall. So I'm going to be petty and just let it go for that reason. <laughs> I can't close my drawer if that one's standing there. Next, I have some Bath & Body Works hand lotions. Um, these three over here have hyaluronic acid and this one is dry hand relief with glycerin. I actually really, really like these. Whoops. They are very, very hydrating for the hands. Um, so definitely going to keep all of those. I have this keratin nail treatment from Nail Tech. Um, hmm. Let me open it and see what it looks like. Hmm. All right, that looks interesting. I might need this one day, so I'm going to keep that. I have more dry drops. This is the last one, I promise. <laughs> Then I have the Burt's Bees Cuticle Cream. Um, very good. I like this one a lot. Smells like lemon. Haven't used it too often, but I do like it. Oh my goodness, another one. Oh no, this is a Orly Cuticle Softener and Stain Remover. So this doesn't go here. This goes in the other drawer. I want to keep this because I want to give it a try. All right, and then these are my Cuticle Buddies. If you don't know what cuticle buddies are, they are roll-on cuticle oils. I do have a couple of other ones which are in my car and my nightstand and in my purse. I have almost all of them. I think I'm missing like five of them. Um, they smell so good. They're so easy to use. Look, it's just it's a pretty little roller. It's perfect for on the go or just a quick oil sesh. So definitely keeping all of these. I absolutely love them. You can find this on Instagram. They're on Instagram under shop NBM. Very, very good. I do have these Olive and June cuticle serum pens. Um, I think I got these as a gift. Don't buy these guys, although they are good. They are good. I don't have, you know, an issue with that. But these are $16 for this one little pen. This is not worth it, not even a little bit. So don't buy that. <laughs> Next, I have this random at-home cuticle pen, which I don't even use anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then I have this from 10 over 10. It's rose oil. I don't necessarily like the smell of rose, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And I have another nail tech peel off nail mask this was really interesting to me never really heard of a nail mask so i'm definitely keeping it because i want to give it a try it has hyaluronic acid and it's for dry and brittle nails so i'll give that a try probably in the winter months all right then i have something else from um, minks lacquer this one is candy cakes it's a cuticle balm and guys these smell mm, delicious and they are so hydrating. Again, that's Minx Lacquer on Instagram. They smell so good. Same thing with the Unicorn Magic Cuticle Rescue. This one is Star Crossed Lovers. Look at how yummy that looks. They smell, again, delicious. 
and I keep that. I do have some coconut oil. I use this for my nail polish remover because I use one of these to remove my nail polish and it's 100% acetone. So a little tip on how to avoid your cuticles getting too dry is to put some cuticle oil inside of the acetone and it actually helps a lot. This Orly brush on nail glue to use with the powder for repairing broken nails is completely dried out. So I'm gonna get rid of that. That's why I have these because these worked pretty well. Then I have this Blue Cross cuticle remover. This isn't my favorite. I don't like the fact that it's so runny, but I'm a good way through it. So I'm just gonna hang on to it and finish it up. And I have another one of the Bath & Body Works hand creams. Love these. Again, very, very good and moisturizing. And then a hybrid nail butter from Minx Lacquer. This one is Blueberry Lemon Morning Bread. Guys, it's delicious. I use this as much as I can, especially when fragrances aren't, you know, bothering my head too much. There's a receipt back there that we need to just put away. There we go. All right, I think that's it, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and tally up how much stuff I've gotten rid of, and I'll come back in just a second. Oops, I forgot that these were in the maybe pile. And since I forgot about them, I'm just gonna get rid of them because I don't see myself using them. So I'll get rid of these. Okay, so I got rid of 15 cuticle oil products, which I think is really, really good. Um, I still have a lot of cuticle oil products left, but I'm happy to have gotten rid of ones that I know I just won't use. All right, and as for top coats and base coats, I got rid of 24 of them. So together, this is all the stuff I am getting rid of. Oh, and if we include the oily glue that dried out, I think I did pretty good, guys. For someone who likes to hold on to absolutely everything, I'm happy with what I've gotten rid of. Well guys, that was it for my top coat, base coat, and cuticle oil declutter. I think I did pretty good. I'm happy with the things that I got rid of. Um, I know I kept saying I was going to get rid of things, like, but that doesn't mean I was going to throw everything away. A lot of that stuff is new, so I'm going to give it to my mom, my sister, my sister-in-law, Whoever I think could get good use out of it, I'm going to give it away. And then anything that's really, really old or just doesn't work anymore, then that'll go ahead and get tossed in the garbage. But thank you so much for being here, guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.